Alright guys, quick True Light review on the Sideshow Collectibles Jason figure. Now I apologise in advance for any background noise you hear. Next door neighbours are having work done. I think it's a big loft conversion or something. Lots of hammering and banging. So I'll make this brief. Just get a look at him in the daylight. I love the detail on his neck. The skin there, that's really gross. Just zoom in. Let you soak it up. I've heard tell that the mask isn't 100% movie accurate, but it looks pretty decent to me. I'm no Jason expert. I'm not even a Jason Lehman to be honest, I don't know Jack Diddley. I'm more of a Myers Freddy dude, Chucky as well. Uh, just a certain characters that are really iconic that I just never really got into. Pinhead's another one from Hellraiser. Uh, but Jason, I mean I do play the video game, I'm playing that like literally this morning I was having a go. Um, getting slaughtered by Jason. But yeah, I'm really impressed so far with the piece. Let's turn him to the side. Does the skin tone of the head sculpt match the neck? I keep seeing like a difference in colour there. I don't know. It does seem to be a slightly different colour from the head to the neck. And I guess uh, that's a little bit. Yeah, it def definitely looks like a different colour. Oh well. And it's an official figure as well. It's not the first time though that Sideshow have done that. I remember with the Catwoman figure, uh, that body that they used was a different colour to the head sculpt they gave you. But the detail on his shirt is nice. It's nothing special to be honest. It's just a shirt. The um, wrist joint here is super loose. I don't like the way that feels. It's just like, it's not good. Just, I mean, you probably wouldn't even be able to hold something in a, a specific way without that just kind of dropping down by itself. It is very loose. Um, I like the machete. It is very nicely done, and I love the blood effect. It's just a shame it's not metal. It is plastic. Now let's get a look at his boots. They're all right, nothing special again. Pretty cheap looking, to be honest, especially the laces. Um, you'd expect from this day and age, and for this kind of price, I can't remember exactly how much he was, to be honest, but he was, um, I got mine on Amazon. I think it was 230 with the shipping included. So, it's an expensive price. What are you going to do? You need a Jason, you've got a Jason. Here he is. Money's it's gone. Money's gone, baby. <laughs> you ain't getting it back. <laughs> but you have got yourself a fine one six scale Jason. Forever. As long as he doesn't rot away to nothing. So, there you go. And if he holds his value, money in the bank. Spank it. Here's his axe. Uh, again... This, this isn't wood, that isn't metal. It would have been nice if we had got one of the two. Even nicer if we had got both, as in metal and wood. But yeah, that's not wood. Oh, at least I don't think it is. I hope I'm not wrong about that, because I would look a right prat. Let's chop off his silly toes. All right, then. That's about it. It's a short True Light review. Very short. Can't take off his mask, because I just won't let you. So, um, yeah. What's under here? Some kind of shirt? I guess so. I'm never going to be tempted to look, to be honest. He's just going to be one of those figures that I don't really touch very much. Maybe a little repose every now and then, if his joints will cooperate. They are very loose. Look at that. You won't even, won't even do that much for me. Yeah, Sideshow and their wonderful bodies. Total sarcasm. They're awful. All right. There it is. True Light Review. Jason, the full actual review where I really go into details and tell you my thoughts is coming up soon. Stay tuned. See you later.